Hi, thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for October 3rd. The scripture states, As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. John chapter 17 and verse 18. But when we give ourselves wholly to God and in our work follow his direction, he makes himself responsible for its accomplishment. He would not have us conjecture as to the success of our honest endeavors. Not once should we even think of failure. We are to cooperate with one who knows no failure. We should not talk of our own weakness and inability. This is a manifest distrust of God, a denial of his word. When we murmur because of our burdens or refuse the responsibilities he calls upon us to bear, we are virtually saying that he is a hard master, that he requires what he has not given us power to do. God works by whom he will. He sometimes selects the humblest instrument to do the greatest work. For his power is revealed through the weakness of women. We have our standard, and by it we pronounce one thing great and another small. But God does not estimate according to our rule. It does not rest with us to pass judgment on our talents or to choose our work. We are to take up the burdens that God appoints, bearing them for his sake and ever going to him for rest. Whatever our work, God is honored by wholehearted, cheerful service. He is pleased when we take up our duties with gratitude, rejoicing that we are accounted worthy to be co-laborers with him. Christ accepts, oh, so gladly, every human agency that is surrendered to him. He brings the human into union with the divine, that he may communicate to the world the mysteries of incarnate love. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for using weak instruments for your name's honor and glory. Thank you for this reminder to be humble and for your work to be done, for you to be glorified. Let self be removed from every one of us, Heavenly Father, that desires to have themselves and their work and their ministry and this and that, All of us, dear Lord, we have this thing in the back of our minds, dear Lord. I pray for it to be removed and that you will be glorified in all things. We thank you for this new day and we thank you for your love towards us because we didn't have to wake up this morning, dear Lord. And a lot of people did not. There's so much going on in the world, so much happening. There's wars, there's rumors of wars, there's calamities, there's disease, there's pestilence. There is so much happening. Your word is ringing true. Everywhere we turn, we see calamities and we see poverty and we see famines and we see, we see and we experience all these things. And yet still, you're calling us to go out and to do your work, not to murmur and complain about our weaknesses or about our burdens or about that we lack this and we lack that. You're asking us for cheerful service, cheerful Christian service to those that we come in contact with. Because, Father, I pray that you will help us as Christians to know that people don't know about you. They don't know the love that you have for them. They don't know the love that had Christ die on the cross, suffering all the pain and anguish 
for them as individuals, for us as individuals. They don't know, and sometimes we forget about eternity and the peace and love. We have never experienced the love and the peace that's waiting for us. We may get glimpses of it. You know, some of us that have children and are surrounded by children and the joy and the peace and love that children hopefully give each and every one of us. The greatest heightened feeling of excitement and joy and whatever does not compare to what Jesus has gone to prepare for us. Homes and to learn so much of the mysteries, things that we don't understand here that will be revealed to us. The most beautiful flower that we've ever seen or the most beautiful animal that has just captured our view does not compare to what is in store for us. So help us to understand the Christian journey, the Christian walk, the Christian responsibility to glorify our Heavenly Father, to walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, to allow the Holy Spirit to direct us. Father, help us to be true witnesses of your love so that those we come in contact with will be drawn to you and they will also submit and surrender their hearts to you. Help us all to repent of our sins Help us to choose life. Help us to choose your love. Cleanse us, I pray. Forgive us of our sins and our errors and our, the things that we continue to do that is unlike you. Help us to be about your business. Help us to surrender. Help us to spend time in your word. Help us to pray and help us to live the life pleasing in your sight. Thank you for your love. Please be with our children, with our families, our friends. Be with everyone that we come in contact with, dear Lord. Help that they will glimpse Jesus and help them to choose you as well, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.